All right, I'm here at FYE, and do check this out. Dusty, where's he at? 40 bucks. Redonkulous. Like, 45 bucks. Walking out of here with 50. Oh my God, Logan for 40. Spiral for 40, of course you'd be 40 bucks. They're all 40. Long shot 40. There's no price tag on Blizzard. Avalanche? I think it's Blizzard. Whatever. What the crap though? That's insane. She's so nice though. Mm. So check out this mall in Hot Springs. It's got carpeted floors. You serious? It's got carpeted floors. And it has a ceiling. This thing never really left the 80s, and I love it. It reminds me, there was a mall when I grew up. Bell's Factory Outlet Mall was just like this. the little indoor strip mall that had literally all these department stores open. But maybe three stores were in each one. Every other thing was just like this, gated off or shut down. It's like, I don't understand how, like, any of these businesses actually still thrive here. There's even a Spencer's. Like, of all the things that could be in this place that's still going, Spencer's. Really don't even understand how Spencer's stays afoot. But, like, I don't know. I'd probably say there's about, so far from what I've seen, let's say 100, probably 100 different department stores. There's probably 18 that are actually open. Everything else is just closed off. This thing is really, at some point, gonna be shut down I would say in the next years I don't know man I just really like the way this place looks it's dark and damp like I said there's carpet there's like even little different changes of carpet I'm looking for a KB toy sign somewhere in here it's been untouched with time I don't know they have nothing in this place they have nothing and it's awesome like look at the barrenness of it this is open too. This isn't like I'm here after hours. This place is wide open, but it's just, it's just nobody here. This corn dog castle, it's not open. Super sandwich, it's not even open. There's nobody to even work these stores. That's the crazy part. Online it has, there's a go calendar in here and I've walked up and down this store. I've seen no go calendar. It even flicked over on internet to say it's open right now. But it's weird. This is where I picked up Michael Keaton Batman 2 for $40. It's just insane. How does Spencer stay in business just in general? But FYE also. How does FYE stay in business when people, they don't price match. They don't take coupons. They own promo codes they offer when you're online. But how does FYE even stay in business? When you're charging $40 for a brand new figure you can buy online for half that. I just don't get it. I wonder how they turn profit. It's got to be a money laundering scam or something just like Spencer's. And like the kiosks are weird too. Like all these kiosks are just still standing. But there's no business in them. See, so like, look at this. Who wants this? There's, even, there's nothing you can do with this. I don't think any business is really going to be moving into these random kiosks in some mall that's going to shut down in a year. Now, I know Robo from the Fwoosh is from Arkansas. I don't know what part, but... Bro, I kind of wonder if he's ever been here because... <laughs> I don't know. It'd just be funny if somebody else in this entire world's actually seen this place. Ooh. Kaka. Yeah, but so far Hot Springs is a dead zone for collectors. I went to the Walmart and Target... And they're still stuck on the Doctor Strange wave. And I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe I was seeing that. Ollie's is behind on anything. There's just nothing really here. It's very weird. Oh, look. 75 cents. I don't think those even work. Ooh. <laughs> Candy. Like, literally, I just walked the entire mall. That was it. Crazy. Arkansas just hasn't been friendly to me so far this vacation. I stopped in, I think, Brighton at a comic shop. Inside, they had the Sabretooth from the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure Wave for $400. So, needless to say, I walked out of that. 
So Arkansas is too old or too expensive and kind of forgotten in time. Flip. All right, I'm gonna go Ross. We're gonna see what we got. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I've literally come up with absolutely nothing since I've been in this town, in this state. It's just so much random stuff. But it's never any gold. I just want to find one treasure. Just one little treasure. That's all I want. It's not too much to ask for, I don't think. It seems like everybody finds cool shit when they're on vacation. I don't ever find any cool shit when I'm on vacation. Nothing even hidden. <laughs> Custom. We'll see. Sharpies, markers, 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 markers. That sucks. What a bust. What are you gonna do? You know? What are you gonna do? Like I said before in my video, Arkansas just ain't a collector's friendly place. This is it in three box. It's a little dog. And it comes with a little ice cream truck. <laughs> So I'm on vacation in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and I came across this cheap toy store. Bro, these little animal warriors are legit as fuck. The sculpt, the paint, the attention to detail on these little guys is immaculate. I mean, if this company produced actual action figures, even with the most basic articulation, I know I'd be first in line to buy these, dude. These look so amazing. Even every pore of his skin is sculpted on. The attention to the armor plating, the attention to the detail in swords and weaponry, 20 bucks for no posability, is kinda steep though. They got more. Simba! Come here, Scar! He would take a little more from Chubbs than just a hand. These figures scream like Roman gladiators, medieval knights, gigantic battle beast feel from these guys. But I mean, that tail alone, dude. Damn! Oh yeah, they also got little T-Rexes. Roar! It's the design, paint apps, and amazing sculpts that make these figures a knockout for me. Well, I guess I'm just going to redo all that. That sucks. Arkansas was great. It was a fun time. Beautiful, beautiful state. I love the mountains and the lakes and the solitude. I guess in the three-hour drive it took for us to get to Hot Springs, I traveled back 27 years. Collector Game is a whole different story. It was a dog crap. I hit up all the stores, all the main ones you know of, Ollie's, TJ Maxx, any discount stores I found, Walmart's Targets I found, found local comic shops along the way and whatnot. Dude, Arkansas is bare. I know they were still holding on to the re-release Black Panther wave. And at Target, I saw the Madam Hydra. I forget what build a figure that was, but that wave, full price. But anyway, I had a great time. I didn't walk away empty-handed. I did get a few pickups. Nothing major, but I got Ant-Man. I was in need of an upgrade, and this is definitely the best Ant-Man figure we've gotten so far, pinless and everything else. Only thing about him is I think his head, can you see that? Proportionate to his body, it just seems a little tiny. Or the unmasked Paul Rudd head seems a little fucking big. And other than that, Batman, Keaton, Flash, whatever. And as soon as I pick up Batman, literally the next day, the six pack gets announced. And then I believe it was Toy Shiz who said, without saying it, they're going to probably wide release the 89 Batmobile two pack with the 89 Keaton. And I'm just sitting here looking at this Batman like I don't even want this piece of shit anymore because that Flash movie, I couldn't get through the opening with the babies and the catching of the babies. <laughs> I can't believe Michael Keaton even agreed to do it. They must have paid him so much money because this is a, it's a disgrace. Yeah, I got the six pack pre-ordered. I had $175. I didn't want any more. I was looking to spend my money on some cool shit. 
and there wasn't any. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, sharing. Hit the notification bell if you like my crap. I got a lot more videos coming. Custom videos are next. I'll hold off on action figures for a hot minute. But, uh, peace. 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 I can't hit the stop on this. Peace.